How fortunate we are today to have the opportunity to speak with Georgia Skinner of Creative Industries. Creative Industries, that sounds like you. <laughs> oh, well, I'm fortunate. I really have to say thank you for having me, Lila. It really is a great, I love this show. So informative and an and honor creative. To be on, and creative too, you got it. <laughs> but um, yeah, Creative Industries at the Department of Business, Economic Development and Tourism uh, really oversees the development of all of our business side of the arts. So we're an advocate and we help to accelerate the growth of all of our film, television, music, uh, publishing, interactive media, all these industries, uh, especially performing and visual arts that are really important and integral to Hawaii's economic future. Well, that list you just gave oftentimes are separated in silos mm. as, pro as professions or career mm -hmm. areas, but you link them together as art. Correct, under that umbrella of art, because art is essential not only for us as we develop as children, but also as wonderful careers for the future. There's 52,000 people in Hawaii, all islands, that are part of our creative industries, whether they're entrepreneurs or part of small businesses. And, um, you know, these are like numbers, but there's people behind them, okay? Uh, it represents about uh, $3.6 billion to our gross domestic product. So mm. together, they are stronger, and we want to weave them together as much as possible. For example, film industry, uh, headed by our uh, film commissioner, Donnie Dawson, very important part of our creative industries division, but it also integrates all aspects of the industries. So you have film that integrates with music, uh, makeup people, they're all artists as part of our creative sectors. Choreographers. Yes, dancers. Even, uh, the food, food providers. Correct. So, you know, the impact of the, not only the location-based film industry, but where we're focusing a lot of our energies right now is on Creative Lab Hawaii and developing more opportunities for our local creative content developers. So in screenwriting, producing, music, uh, interactive media, and animation, so. It's a fascinating conversation to have because you're a State Department. Yes. And it's a bit of an oxymoron, isn't yes, it? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> People go, what, in government? But there are at least 24 other uh, creative industries offices throughout the United States. So when you talk about developing the entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and the, not just creativity, we're all creative in our own way, we just may not know it. When you are speaking about developing the business aspect of it, how does that work? Well, right now, uh, one good example is the Creative Lab program because you, uh, we're, what we're finding is that students that are coming through, let's say K through 12, and they love digital media, they love the drama, um, you know, or, or performing arts, music, uh, but it seems like when they get to the uh, college level, uh, there isn't enough emphasis, I don't believe, on the navigation of business mm -hmm. and the business that you need to protect your intellectual property or navigate yourself as an entrepreneur. Creative Lab answers that question. It enhances what's already being done at the college level, and what it does is empower you, just like a tech accelerator, to partner you with mentors from the entertainment and music industries that can help you advance your career in a very specific, well-rounded way, because uh, the business part is so important to not lose your intellectual property. I mean, one good example is that perhaps in you know years past, if a musician really wanted to be on a certain label, but they couldn't afford the recording studio mm -hmm. time. Of course, now we do it in our homes with our computers. But before, you know, you would sort of be at risk if you allowed somebody else to uh, produce that for right. you because you may not wind up owning your publishing rights. So today is just an amazing time to not only have a creative industries division, but also for our creative entrepreneurs. And it's wonderful that you're available so that people know they can have information and support and yes. your creative energy and your energy <laughs> is very contagious oh, and you. I'm hoping some of the viewing audience will also know that they too can pursue their dreams. Yes, absolutely. It's something that's critical. Uh, I think especially in the future when we're looking to develop an innovation economy, you can't have innovation without the creative inspiration. Super. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure. We've had a creative conversation with Georgia Skinner of Creative Industries.